Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1389. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1389 and 90, so you can follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in the last video, Excel Magic Trick 1388, we did average number of days between order date and ship date. And we looked at three different formulas ship order. The simplest formula is just to make a formula. Calculate, taking the later date and subtracting the earlier date. Copying it down, that gives you the actual days. Then you do the average function. But the question was, hey, what if you can't do this helper column? Well, then certainly one way to do it is to make an array calculation. And we saw how to do that in that video. And then we also asked, how could we do that same calculation, but without having to use a special keystroke, Control-Shift-Enter? Now, although this formula right here is really quick and easy to create, it is an array formula. Both of these last two are because there's an array operation. And as you get larger and larger data sets, Array calculations take a long time to calculate. So it is awesome hanging out on our online Excel team. To Hendra posted in a comment below 1388, here's an awesome formula. Well, if we're simply taking the difference of two columns, well, then why not just add the first column, subtract the second column, which is what To Hendra did, and then divide by the count equal sign, open parentheses, sum. And we're simply going to sum the ship date, control shift down arrow, control backspace to jump back to the active cell, close parentheses, and then subtract the sum of the order date, control shift down arrow, control backspace, close parentheses. And we are going to enclose that subtraction right there in parentheses because we want to force subtraction before division. Now we can count either one of the columns, Control, Shift, Down Arrow, Control, Backspace, close parentheses. When I hit Enter, that is number formatting. Be sure to go up to Number, click the drop down, and apply the general. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut for general, Control, Shift, tilde, or grave accent. I love hanging out on our online Excel team. Thanks to Tehendra for that awesome formula. We'll see you next trick.